Let's put the liver aside for just a minute. It's called an accessory organ, and let's look at the stomach. You can see that the stomach begins right on the other side of the diaphragm. I'm going to pull the stomach out here so we can look at it a little better. It's got a sphincter here called the cardiac sphincter or lower esophageal sphincter. It's got a cardiac region nearest the heart. It's got a fundus, which means foundation or bottom, right here. And the major part of it is called the body. It's got a pylorus at this end, or pyloric region. And then it's got a valve called the pyloric sphincter at its far end. It's covered with a slick, slippery membrane called visceral peritoneum, or serosa. Deep to that serosa are three smooth muscle layers, a longitudinal layer, which can shorten and slosh the chyme, as it's called. It's not called food anymore. It's the liquefied food we call chyme. This can shorten and slosh the chyme. Then there's a circular layer that can push the chyme along or slosh it back and forth. Then it's as if double bagged or triple bagged, I should say, because the stomach has three layers of muscle, the oblique layer. And no other digestive organ has three muscle layers. They all have two. Let's open it up and look inside. Well, one more time. What do we have here? The cardiac sphincter, the cardiac region, the fundus, or dead end region, the body, the pylorus, the pyloric sphincter. This is called the lesser curvature. Here we have the greater curvature. But back to the stomach layers. The pink layer that you see here all folded up is the mucosa. The mucosa is protected by a thick layer of mucus. It's thrown into folds when our stomach is more or less empty. The folds are called rugi. When our stomach is full, the rugi flatten out. Deep to the mucosa is a layer called the submucosa. It's connective tissue that holds the mucosa to the underlying muscle layers. It causes the mucosa to stick to the muscle layers just about as tightly as, say, a Band-Aid sticks to your skin. Not all that tight. That's our stomach, the holding chamber for food to be digested.